What's going on? We are taking this recipe back to my childhood and blue tin containers. Do you We're know what I'm Danish. talking about? We're making Danish butter cookies. I feel like everyone ate these when they were kids. And if you didn't eat them from the container, like maybe your grandma had the container and she like stored her sewing stuff in it. It's basically just a very simple butter cookie recipe with a base of butter and almond flour. You can add flavors to it. You can add nuts, you can add chocolate chips, you can do whatever you want, but we're gonna give you a very basic recipe that you can just use at all times and always have butter cookies on hand. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dry ingredients to a large mixing bowl. So we're gonna start with one and a quarter cup of almond flour. And we're gonna add one quarter cup of coconut flour, one third cup of powdered erythritol, one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and we're gonna mix that together. And we're gonna get in here with our hands, so if it's not perfect, that's okay. So now we have six tablespoons of room temperature butter. You definitely want it soft because we're gonna work it in with our hands and create a nice dough. And we're also gonna add a nice splash of vanilla. So the final ingredient is six tablespoons of butter that is room temperature here, very soft, because we're gonna start working this in with our hands to create our dough. So we're just gonna Add that in, and we're just going to use our fingers to work this until we get a dough. So this will take a little bit, but be patient. Okay, look at that. That is a solid butter cookie dough. Okay, so we have our dough. So we're just gonna form 12 even-sized balls and place them on our parchment paper lined baking sheet. We wanna put them about two inches apart. All right, we have our cookies formed on, into our balls on our baking sheet. We're gonna use a fork and press them out just slightly. Give them a nice little design. Okay, our cookies are pressed out. They are looking nice and pretty. We're gonna pop them in the oven at 350, 11 to 14 minutes, somewhere in that range. We'll check on them at 11, and once they start getting nice and golden brown, we'll pop them out. All right, guys, we are back with our butter cookies. So they took 12 minutes total in the oven, and if you can't tell, they do not spread at all. So whatever thickness you like, whatever design you like, make it, and they will keep their form, which is very, very nice. Ideally, you would transfer these to a wire rack, let them cool completely, and they will firm up. They will be like your standard, harder, more Danish cookie like, but we're gonna taste these anyway. And they're nice, they're still like firm. You can hold them together, but they're still also like soft and really warm. So I'm gonna give these a try, so excited. Mm. Just like so simple, you get the butter, you get the slight sweetness. This is just a perfect cookie recipe for me, any time of day, any time of year. Guys, this is a simple cookie recipe you can make and just have on hand, not too indulgent or crazy, where if you have one, you feel like you have to go back and eat a second and a third and a fourth. So maybe like the perfect after dinner dessert recipe, if you're a dessert kind of person. We have a ton of cookies and dessert recipes on our food blog, ketoconnect.net, where you can check out some of our top cookie recipes, definitely our chewy chocolate chip ones, our snowball cookies, which Matt created, and those are just a hit. Um, chocolate avocado cookies, so it uses avocado, but you can't tell at all. That's actually Matt's favorite. I make those for his birthday. Linked in the description is also the recipe, the blog post, how to make these. Let us know what you think. Do you like these simple cookie recipes? And if you do make them, what kind of twists are you doing? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.